could fangen is all about the Viking way of life. And so my hotel room was exactly decorated in the Viking style. But so was the reception area of the hotel, the dining room and the souvenir shop. All with this gorgeous view with so many waterfalls. After spending the night, where I had a good look at myself. I don't know why, but yeah, I see myself like that's also what. The next day, it was on towards the village of Flam, where I checked another bucket list wish item, the Flamsbana train ride. And today is Wednesday, October 5th. It's uh, rainy outside, but I'm here in the famous Flamsbana train. It took a lot of effort to come here, but I'm here. And uh, yeah, come hell or high water, this is what I had to do in my life. And uh, yeah, well, I'm about to experience it. It's uh, as you uh, I've already made some few shots. this day to do both the train ride and the fjord cruise. However, because of the heavy rainfall and the fact that I had to take a bus ride back to the village of Flam, I decided to skip the boat trip. After all, I already had experienced the lovely surroundings by driving to Flam anyway, so I had some time to spare to make a few sketches of what is also one of Flam's main attractions, the bakery shop. I'm here at the, at the Flam village at the Flam Bakery. It's a famous bakery for the traditional uh, sort of uh, pastries they have here. And as you know, I always sketch what I uh, can buy locally. But as you can see, I'm not alone. So I've made a few friends here, as you can see. Uh, that's why I bought uh, one extra, uh, so they can have a go at it. Because uh, there's no way I can make a sketch of this. And yeah, I have not even started yet. So, uh, but uh, yeah. <laughs> so after the encounter with the many new feathered friends, I did make some sketches after all back in the hotel. Even though food sketching is not my thing actually, but still it is about some of the traditional Norwegian products, which do not have a lasting lifetime, shall we say. Uh, last night here, uh, last day. <laughs> Vlogging is difficult, uh, but uh, last day here in the Good Vangen Fjord Hotel in the Viking Room. Uh, as you can see, I have my stuff here and also the two bags for the sketching and video editing. As you can see, last look behind me of the fjords here. Uh, yeah, it has been uh, raining constantly now 24 uh, hours and it will be for the next coming days. I don't mind, really I don't. I, I, I am having the time of my life. 
that is the price if you want to see these colors then you have to come here in this time of year it's now october okay car loaded up but this is why i came here as you can see snow on top of the fjords and right there spectacular ain't it so after again a great night's sleep it was time to move on further north to the town of Verde, where i actually wanted to sketch the famous hopperstad stave church on the way but as you have probably guessed it the flooding water made a stop there that day almost impossible so i drove via the famous leerdal tunnel and the golar fjellet route towards Verde. So, uh, halfway the Leerdal tunnel, it's uh, the longest in the world, 25 kilometers, and uh, I'm in the second cave. As you can see, they've dug out a cave and uh, they uh, have all these colors here. It's uh, to prevent if you drive too long in the black, then uh, you could get some sort of uh, claustrophobia. But uh, watch this. Hello! Unreal! This is this is nothing we have ever in the Netherlands. Uh, this, uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, also, uh, make use of the situation because it's, as you have seen, uh, very bad weather, and uh, yeah, it's not a totally mess in the car. Uh, you, yeah, it's, yeah. So uh, I have to sort out my bags and uh, pack in some new clothes for uh, for the rest of the trip. Uh, now it's difficult to uh, make myself clear because I, uh, I can't talk with them. You can't hear me at all. <laughs> uh, the Gola Fjellet route was a real challenge for me to drive because once you drive up this road all the way up to the Utsikten viewpoint, there are many sharp corners meandering towards the top of the mountain Vetlefjord. This is the realm of the falling waters, but in my case also a little bit of snow was added to the occasion when I arrived at this magnificent viewpoint, where you can see 700 meters down, which is something I would have not missed. So I pulled through, I ended up with a great shot with my 360 degree camera.